Oh, right, all right, all right. I am going to start this right in the beginning because we have a little bit of a joke going on at the beginning. We are going to try and claim that we just... Re oh, random really messed us up. Oh, that's really unfortunate. And that's because... Da, 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 we all picked Franks. And Ollie's like, no, no, no. You, you 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 didn't do that. That didn't happen. That was never the case. They are super onto us. They know exactly what is up. So this is the quadruple Frankish pick on Arena. The idea is to drop castles on our opponents and to then petard through and potentially have like some kind of knights or, or, or something behind that to then re raid their eco or even have enough knights to maybe destroy TCs or something in that nature. Wow, this is really weird. How did this ever happen? This is so strange. I have no idea. They totally know what is going on. And we have some celebrities in the house. Uh, we have Vlad the Impaler of your mom from the original video of the double Frankish castle drop so we're just stepping it up a notch we have Darth Lama playing as well you guessed it the Franks we have Reinen also from the original video playing as mm, I wonder um, Huns we were actually considering somebody picking Huns but no he is picking the Franks in this one and we have Poop Lord he is also playing as the Franks Ollie, who already know that this was going to be a meme fest, is playing as the Mongols. Mongols are no joke, especially with Mangadai and in Arena, you can definitely get to those Mangadai. Talking about no joke sieves, Burgundians try hard much. This sieve, I think, is, in my opinion, one of the most powerful sieves, especially in Castle Age, where you can get Cavalier in Castle. And we are going to slow this down just a a little bit just so that we don't miss any of the action and you can get those eco upgrades so they have strong eco and they have strong military options especially in castle age where other people do not have cavalier yet we have mm0ri mori and mori got the message pick franks i know i said this was a quadruple frank pick but this is actually a five tuple Frank pick. That's right. Mori in the teal picked it as well. And this is the funniest part about this whole thing. There was actually somebody live streaming. <laughs> live streaming this game on Twitch. Obat the Great. Obat the Great. Playing as the Vietnamese. Live streaming for about 60 or 70 people is is what we saw so that was kind of funny as well just that he was a part of this game and yeah a lot of fun to be had now i did notice that he had like these weird like little house walls when i watch this replay again I, I normally like to do my house walls kind of like like this so that i have like a secondary layer of wall behind and we're thinking about where we want to drop those castles probably want to drop those castles here and oh nice villager snipe from Darth Lama, that's very good. Uh, and this kind of indicates that a castle is going to be dropped on the front of Vlad the Impaler of your mom rather than us dropping a castle on Grey. Meanwhile, uh, you need to have something behind, right? You need to be able to raid the eco. So that's where this stable comes in. Now, the nice thing about this strategy is you're not bound to knights we're not all going to go knights in this one it actually makes a lot more sense that some of us go knights and some of us go say throwing axemen or skirms or onagers or some other kind of unit and we're double <laughs> we're double castle dropping on poor ollie here who already knew that this was going to be a meme so actually he did a pretty good job with that castle protecting this area and is already kind of well behind uh, the idea, once again, is that we're going to blow up some of these gates and then hopefully run into the eco. Let's see how successful that is going to be. We did have a bunch of pauses throughout this game. So if you see like 14 question mark, that's because we had some pretty bad internet problems. But thankfully, recently, it's been a lot better. So I'm hoping that stays up. 
uh, and probably going to go for uh, spears or pike or halb in the front here to support those knights. We do have a big issue because now that we know that this castle is up, we know that Mangadai are out as well. And indeed, there was a castle that was dropped over here and quickly walling behind. And Darf Lama is building their own castle. And this is kind of nice because this, this will protect this area relatively well. Would have liked to have seen stone walls on this side as well. But you know what? That's beside the point. So, Petard, we Petard through. We're in, boys. We're in. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, oh, that doesn't go anywhere. And I love Reinen. Reinen is an absolute madman. So we're going to go to Reinen's perspective for just a second over here. I asked Reinen, like, what do we do at this point? And he's like, well, how many, how many petards does a castle need? And I said, a castle needs eight petards. He's like, great, I'll build 12. I'm like, okay. Okay, full YOLO send. We're going to break into their base one way or another. Meanwhile, there's a lot of defense that is needed over here from Darth Lama. Uh, he was constructing rams, which you can see in the queue over here. Now, I like how he's not trickle ramming, sending him in one by one by one. If you are going to ram, you should send four or five rams all at the same time. I also want to keep track of how many petards are in this castle. That's going to be very important for a little bit later on. Because you need 12. Because some of them are going to get exploded by the castle fire. That's for sure. So 2, 4, 6, 7, 8. And I tried to construct a castle over on this side. But that didn't work out too well. Yeah... So we just decided to make it defensively, and I think that's a good idea too, because that kind of covers this gold and that covers that stone. I think he sniped off like one or two of those villagers that were forward. I've tried to cast this game like three or four times. There are so many things that happen in this game, and I always end up missing one or two of them. I don't want to miss this though, so I am queuing this up to see when he has 12 going over slowly. And this, there's a hole there? This scout is an absolute mad lad gets shot down boom done final 12 petards are being created another defensive castle being constructed for vlad the impaler and this is looking pretty safe uh maybe it would have been nice to have that castle i don't know i don't know it's fine don't worry about it uh so now ryan and i we're communicating he's telling me okay send your army over there make sure that the mangadai aren't here and then I'll send the petards over this way. So I'm checking out where are the Mangadai. Picks off another villager. Did manage to get that up. And I don't know what what is that that I shot. Anyway, that's not important because petards. Let's go. Let's go. And we, we kind of forgot that they had to run around the wall. So now Ryan's like, say, dodge the bullets for me. I'm like, okay, I'll just I'll just join the mass over here. See if we can, see if we can stop it. And sure enough, it <laughs> manage to destroy the castle we had enough petards and now all of a sudden i'm killing eco left and right we're at 66 vils and eco is dropping meanwhile i'm at only 43 vils that's not very good we're trying to kill as many villagers as we possibly can 60 and this is not good we gotta spread this out run around what are the upgrades on here okay we did get both of the uh, pierce defense and melee defense on these guys and the reason that we did that is because well we we wanted to raid with them and we didn't want to die every single time we went to a tc 58 and it was 60, so we killed about like 10 villagers at this point maybe a little bit more because he constructed some villagers in the meantime and oh no rams rams oh 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 i didn't miss it this time I almost did because it happens like why did you make this happen while wow, he was there was so much happening and this is a good cleanup because Rathans are actually not very good against cavalry cavalry are a hard counter so he definitely should have had some pikes with this and this is this is a beautiful beautiful cleanup from gray also I think gray was like 2600 elo in team games which is absolutely insane I, at least i know one of them was 2600 team game elo 
which is quite hard, uh, even though that doesn't really matter a whole bunch. And now, 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 Darf Lama is finally able to push. As long as he can win this engage, which we're already weakened, but he does look like he has the numbers. I think people underestimate uh, the need for getting military versus getting upgrades. Getting upgrades is fine, but if you have the numbers, that does a lot. Great push over here. Meanwhile, this is kind of stabilized. Even stonewalling. This boy is stonewalling behind. Can't produce Mangadai, so the Mangadai that he has at the moment is kind of what he has. Does have to get additional stone as well. And green is here with this army, but... How much is that going to do? This house is probably going to go down pretty dang quick. Oh, got to target that house. And send in the knights. Get it done. Oh, even as a mangonel, but not clicking that mangonel. Maybe he can't see it. And go, 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 go. Knights, go. Go. Run in. Oh, it's working. It's working. Our strat is actually... Wait, are you not going to run in? I haven't seen this before. Yeah, you have to run in at this point. What are the upgrades on these guys? Plus one, plus one. And he does get through. He does get through. Oh, he doesn't quite realize. He is going to kill a whole bunch of these villagers, though. That's fine. And that house is going to go down as well. And this is disastrous. Trying to get some shots on those knights. But those knights are going to chase down that Mangano. And Gray looks like he's in big trouble right now. Meanwhile, we're communicating. We're dropping additional castles on their face i think these two are too close it would have been nice if we put this forward a little bit more but that's beside the point gray is getting absolutely cleared up both teammates lost a very very bad engagement against darf lama and darf lama is doing work for sure meanwhile vlad is now taking into champion because once again if everybody goes for knights that's really easy to get countered where are those knights? Are those knights still present in this base somewhere? Doesn't look like it. <laughs> Here come the log swords. Get them! Get them! That's absolutely hilarious. And he, he made pikemen to try and counter the knights, but now there's long swords in his base. That's wonderful. Uh, that's, that's teamwork right there, if I've ever seen it. And Teal is here with some knights, and obviously... Darf Lama needs to build up his numbers, but now long swords are taking over the rating, and we're kind of in like a stalemate position over here, just because of what Blue has done. Can we break through this absolute madness that he has created over here? I mean, yeah, he has his little base over here, but that's not a whole bunch of stuff. We're signaling, we're trying to make it work. Reaching Imp are some of us, and I was thinking to myself, yeah, we probably need to get Imp just to get some Trebs out and start bombarding. So, here come the Trebs, and we're going to have a little bit of a Treb War over here. Meanwhile, these two-handed swordsmen now are cleaning up Gray's eco. Vlad, the Impaler of your mom, does not care if he gets impaled, as long as his long swords impale you. Crossbows, I think, is a much better choice here than Rattans. Would have even liked to have seen Arbs. But Castle Drops are pretty strong, especially on lower elos. But we're no slouches. We know how to deal with Castle Drops. We are the Castle Droppies. Uh, over here, there's a whole bunch of knights. And actually, we have Rhinan who sent his pikemen all the way from this side over to this side just to help out. Meanwhile, we are slowly starting to treb. And that's not great. Uh, we do have to take this engage at this point just to try and protect the trebs. That's not great, especially since we didn't get the cavalier upgrade yet. It is in the queue, maybe premature, but man, there's a lot of castle fire over here. Would have been nice to target those mangadai because those mangadai definitely are a problem. And I don't think this is actually the worst engage. I think this is actually okay, especially with those helps coming in. They came in super clutch. Cavalier came in a little bit too late there for me, but overall, not too bad. And now we're starting to trap down Blue's base over here. And this is destruction over here. There's a lot of damage being done. Whole bunch of Treboronis doing tons and tons of damage to Gray's base. Once again, 
60 or 70 people were watching this on stream, which was pretty hilarious if you ask me. Did actually manage to get to our bless, so that is uh, noteworthy in itself. And we're having a hard time actually breaking through. And I was like, okay, get that gate, and then I can run into Kev. Oh, he gated behind it. Why did he gate behind it? Meanwhile, the score lead is so really, really close. It's only a differential of about 300. It may, it may seem like we're pushing pretty hard on both fronts, but if we look at the overall villager numbers, 75 for myself and Gray still booming. 60 villagers, even though his entire base has basically been raided. Although, that being said, now this is going to decrease pretty dang quickly. Trying to retreat these villagers, and he is now dropping below 50. These trebs going to treb down the rest of this base, and that's probably it for Gray, unless he can get a whole bunch more arbs out. He's producing from six different ranges though and has a small ball over here but dang that's a lot of pikemen over there and that's a whole bunch of knights definitely should be able to clear that out and can we get into this base i didn't realize that this side was open actually we're desperately trying to like get in over here we realize that the manga die are over here and now we're going to run those cavalier try and clean up as many of those as possible a lot going on in this game. Very difficult to cast. I tried like three or four times, and every single time I failed miserably. Can I, yeah, we got that bang and die. And Gray has now resigned at this point. But their teammates, they're not resigning. The score is still relatively close. They're not having any of this. So they're going to start pushing on Teal. And we're having just a hard time breaking through Manga dice. And we just sent all of the Cavalier in now. We just stream them all in, spread them out as much as we can. As great as it would be to kill all of these Manganai, it's fine as long as we do tons and tons of eco damage to Ollie. We can reproduce these, he cannot. So that was kind of the idea here. Oh, come on. Really? Yeah, okay, thank you. Run around. This Cavalier is doing mad damage. Okay, these helps didn't do the best job. They, they got absolutely shot down, but they allowed for time for me to get as many villager kills here as possible. Wow, that was a lot of dead villagers right there. And blue is now definitely set back a bunch. Uh, down to about 50-something villagers. And oh no, we didn't protect the trebs! And Paladin in from the Burgundian player. That's not good at all. I just have Cavalier. And wow, that's a lot of help that he's sending behind as well. Meanwhile, over on this side, our two Frankish teammates are trying to push. Denying this castle. And it does look like they're slowly going to be able to push into Blues. Champion finally Vlad the Impaler got the champion, got all the upgrades as well. And man, is he good at just pumping out infantry. Uh, I played a game with him uh, before this game in which he we went double Bulgarians or something in that nature. And he pumped out tons and tons of long-handed swordsmen. And look how quickly these barracks get cleaned up. Yeah, this was not great castle construction. Did get denied, but a lot of these dying for free. And that's what we like to see for sure. Even have some of the champions over here just, Get the manga die! Get up! <laughs> that's hilarious. It's so hard to, to manage everything at this point just because there's so many things that are going on. I didn't boom enough. I'm at 4,000 score at this point. Uh, let's see, we got 1, 2, 2 TC boom going on, 3 TC boom going on, 4 TC boom going on. Yeah, now now we're really just ramping it up. We, we figure if we can just stay alive and outproduce with villagers, we should be in a pretty okay position. 80 villagers only though, even though we did so much raiding work on them. If you don't build eco behind, which is definitely something that I struggle with, it doesn't matter all that much. Meanwhile, it does look like, yep, they got into Teal's base over here. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, Teal, Teal is pretty much dead at this point. Would not be surprised if Teal resigned here as well. Gotta give it to them for continuing even after 
one of your teammates resigns. And it looks like he's still spectating this, which is kind of funny. Um, maybe didn't have enough support from Teal in those engagements. Also, Darf Lama just did a really, really great job at cleaning up um, the army of Grey and the army of Blue at the same time, allowing them to push into Grey's base. That was huge. But this big ball of Mangadai, that's a lot of Mangadai. 33 plus Mangadai is going to be very, very tricky to deal with. Uh, did we manage to finally get Paladin? Yeah, Paladin takes forever to get. My goodness. So we're just trying to produce as many Paladins over here. Don't really care about this castle all too much. I mean, there's still one tile of gold. And now, Darth Lama is here. Darth Lama carried this game. Not gonna lie. He did a great job carrying. And now that I see him, he's engaging. I just got Paladin. No, not yet. Oh, Paladin's so slow. I'm like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Why are you engaging? It's still all my army over here. Don't engage yet. But you know what? It already happened. It already happened. If we can clear up this siege, that would be huge. So he's going in on this side. So I'm thinking to myself, okay, maybe, maybe, now that I got Paladin, we're going to go in. Maybe we can get a surround from this, oh, Bombard Cannon right to that Mangadai's face and has to retreat at this point, allowing Darth Lama to clear up the rest of these trebs. And once again, Teal is basically dead. I'm actually surprised that Teal is still continuing at this point, <laughs> walling in some of these villages over here. I'm not dead. She keep spending resources on me. That's hilarious. Uh, also, the queue from all of us kind of became insane. If two of your teammates are dead, we were thinking about setting up trade and whatnot, but what's the point? Also, kind of threw away these Paladin. That was not great. Tried to get some more raiding in over here because that was the original game plan. But your game plan should change. And if we can just kind of bombard everything slowly. Mangadai dying. Oh, that's a big ball of Mangadai. Get that Mangadai. Yeah, that's not good. These Bombards are going to just be wasted. What do you do against mass Mangadai? It's so hard to deal with. So at this point, I think Ryan said, you know what? I'll just go ma mass skirm. I'll just go mass skirm. <laughs> There's still, I was laughing. I was like, there's still champions over here just destroying, destroying poor Teal. Teal has a total of seven pop. He's out of the game. Oh, sorry, eight pop. I stand corrected. And once again, this is really hard for us to engage in. Green and blue did a really, really good job in this game, and they do not want to give it up. Four against two, but how could I ever have trade at this point? Elite Skirmisher now coming in, and I feel like at this point it's okay to call resign, but you know what? Ollie doesn't roll that way. He wants to get as many kills as, his, as he possibly can. I mean, his KD is probably insane uh, by the end of this. But if you want to skip forward to the end, that's totally fine. We are going to fast forward this a bit because at this point it doesn't matter how many Mangadai he has. What, 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 petards? 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 <laughs> Get him with the petards. Shh. Shh. <laughs> Vlad, the invader of your mom is so funny, man. He's like, yeah, just send petards over. We got this. <laughs> just send the petards in left and right. Oh, that's kind of hilarious. But just the amount of fouling that's over here. And I think I am still trying to produce villagers, trying to boom up. I'm kind of out of gold at this point, I feel like. I didn't get a whole bunch of gold. Oh my god, that's that's a lot of paladin. 44, yeah, so we wanted to push in, but there was really no easy way for us to push in. But if we get some skirms over here, we could actually clean up this ball. And you shouldn't just have 44 paladins just laying around. You should probably do something with them at this point, Poop Lord. Like, can we, can we get in here some way, somehow? And, of course, it's just... Uh, is that... No, no, it is housewalled. It is housewalled. Barely, but it is housewalled. These skirms, though, making great headway over here. And, uh, yeah, I mean, this is waste. A Flemish revolution comes in. 
My goodness, these guys don't want to give up, but we have to weather the storm of the Flemish Revolution. And if we do, we're going to be in a really good spot because now all of a sudden, Green has to remake all of his villagers. Only has a total of five. And it's not a great idea to engage against Flemish Revolution with Paladins, but you know what? I figured, why not? And then I was like, no, bad idea, bad idea, bad idea, bill, 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 bill. We lost so many paladins in that engage. And what do I do? They could actually now push me. Flemish Revolution is ridiculous. It's so strong. Meanwhile, there's more paladins from yellow being accumulated over here. And as long as we weather this, we should win this game, right? <laughs> what? what? No! Freaking Mori from the dead doing work. That's hilarious. Killing a whole bunch of these. I'm like, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, oh. Get your paladins out of there. Get your paladins out of there. Oh man. More paladins getting absolutely away. There's just too much to focus on at this point. But thankfully, thankfully, Reinen is finally pushing through over here with Bombard Cannons. Is going to take down those production buildings of those Mangadai and as long as we're able to hold here for some time we should be okay we also have three castles over here trying to get through over here so I quickly build a castle over here and we're going to try and house wall behind this like an absolute boss whoa 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 whoa, whoa. and I, I'm, I'm sure even after all of this walling I'm absolutely sure that there's definitely a hole here somewhere that I haven't seen and we actually have like kind of like a secondary layer of wall as well we could actually connect that if we so chose but looks like these Flemish militia are actually going to manage to get through the wall which is absolutely insane I think they get plus two damage against buildings as well and they are through now so let's see if they run through the gap but, I mean, there's champions here, there's skirmishes here. They're trying to do damage to me. As long as I deny this damage, I think we're okay. And, of course, there's a hole. Of course! Of course! <laughs> Why would there not be a hole? But it's fine. This was this was all just a debate anyway. Just to get these guys to get killed. Garrison, please. Garrison. Oh, gets one. The poor woman. We do garrison her, and we're just going to fight these guys, why not? And and now we finally managed to, to, to wall correctly. My goodness, there's always a hole. You can never figure out where all the holes are. And the GG is finally, finally called. What a crazy game. We, we had envisioned it way more Mimi, but if you think about it, we, we kind of still executed the game plan to a certain extent. And Mori's like, no, no, we we do not die like this. We do not go into the night silently. He has another TC. Mori is ready to boom back up. Let's go. <laughs> I forgot that Mori did GG four times random Franks. Even constructing a castle over here, but we're, we're not going to let him get away with this. We're eventually going to come over and absolutely, yeah, look look, look at the mini-map. Everything is just converging in on this location. I, I was kind of surprised that uh, Mori was a little bit salty about this one. It was it was overall a really good game. And we didn't have rams here yet. I, I, I transitioned into light cav, so you know what? Sure, send the light cav in as well. Completely surrounding this castle with all different kinds of colors. And is Mori going to resign or do we have to kill every single one of his villagers? It does look like we have to kill every single one of his villagers. Keeping that gate open and finally, finally, with free pop, I guess he still had these free knights over here. The GG is called. Let's take a quick look at these statistics. Ollie, my goodness, Mangadai. Monsters, man. Absolute monsters. If you can get a big ball of Mangadai and you can keep them alive, holy guacamole, do they do some damage. Yeah, Ryan definitely deserved MVP. He came in the clutch 
through what? I think it's just based on score. I think it's the total number of score that gets you. I've always wondered that. What makes you MVP? Is that the total number of score? I don't know. I think so. Anyway, let's look at the kills. Okay, not too crazy over here. Yeah, it seems pretty reasonable from everybody. Uh, poor Mori didn't get a good end there. And obviously, uh, Gray didn't get a good end there as well. But eh, it's not that important. Economy is probably more important. And Ollie, my goodness, so much stone, so much wood collected. Also a really decent amount of gold. And his units didn't die. He just kept them alive. Ooh, actually had some resources sent back and forth over here. That's cool. And I received, oh my goodness, I got slung so hard. Oh. Don't look at this. I don't eco, okay? I don't do a lot of eco. I'm working on it. I'm working on the eco element. Uh, it's definitely an element that I need to improve on. Ryan, right, even having a total of five relics captured, 3,000 additional gold from that. And wow, what a what a mad timeline over here. And you can even see all of those villagers getting converted last ditch effort into the Flemish Revolution. Guys, thank you so much for walking. I really do appreciate it. See you on the next one.